Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Final Fantasy VII. Last time, uh, we were taking care of some side stuff. Got some materia that I was missing. Um, so, I looked up how to get Bahamut Zero. Apparently I can dig it up in Bone Village. Um, but it's like a really small chance that I'm gonna get it. It's like almost 4% chance in one particular spot. So, that is going to take an eternity to try to dig that up. So, I'm, I'm going to just not even bother. Um, so, anyway, we're going to move on to the weapons today. Uh, I really want to fight Ultimate Weapon. Uh, shouldn't be nearly as hard as Emerald or Ruby. And it's the same one we fought in um, Medeal. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and apparently Ultimate Weapon just flies around randomly. So hopefully I can find it. <laughs> I'm pretty good at flying around randomly myself. Uh, I think I saw it the other day, actually. It was like... Over by, um... Uh, what's it called? Over by Fort Condor? So, let's check over there again. As I fly randomly around. Uh, let's see. Oh! Wow, it's still there. Okay. So, this is ultimate weapon. We're gonna kick its hiney, I think. Yeah! <laughs> I could probably just use normal attacks and beat this thing. Ultima Beam. Wow, it's cool we're fighting it on our airship. Uh, it does a good deal of damage, actually. Bam! Wait, were those all counterattacks? <laughs> Oh, it did a run away? Oh, okay. So I guess I have to keep finding it? Alright. Gotcha. Whew, this is gonna take some doing. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Don't even know, man. I guess I could just uh, speed up until I find it. Oh, there it is. Hop, it's flying around. What energy? Damn, you think of the Baba? You ever have a Ubaba? Sid, that was very spedicious. Can I actually fight it? This thing is a pain in my butt. You think I'm just gonna give up? That's what he said. <laughs> I just keep ramming it? Oh my god. Maybe it has to land somewhere? Yeah, because I'm clearly not doing anything. you land somewhere big punk ah there he goes nice is he going to attack this place <laughs> don't attack Gungaga you jerk he does quite a bit of damage Ooh. 
gonna fly away again. Oh, there he goes. I'll get you next time! Alright. Well, I guess I'll have to find him again. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well, he's <laughs> he's right there. Right on. That was easy. You're not running this time, buddy. So now that Tifa's limit bar is full, uh, if I use Mime instead of her limit, she won't get that drop in attack power because her uh, ultimate weapon is dependent on how full her limit gauge is. Yeah, and that's how it is. Shadow Flare! Why don't you use that on Cloud? That'd be nice. Oh my god, it's painful. And he died. Wow, really? Okay then. Awesome. <laughs> I got a Chivo and everything. And lots of experience. And I got Ultima Weapon. Oh yeah. You're going down. You're going down. Whoa. Whoa. You made a big old crater. Oh wow. So now you can go up to this forest without a gold chocobo. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty sneaky. Huh. Okay. So let's see what the ultimate weapon. I'm pretty sure it's Cloud's ultimate weapon. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And I read that it scales based on how much health he has, and because he has max health, it's it's pretty much good game. Uh, good game there. <laughs> I don't know what really to put on him. So, uh, that was that. That didn't really take very long, did it? So, anyway, let's prepare for... Um, Emerald Weapon next time. So, you remember that countdown the first time we fought it? It was like a 30 minute countdown or something? Uh, if we get... Where's my map? There it is. Okay. If we get uh, an underwater materia, we won't have a countdown when we fight it. And I may have to do that because I'm not sure if the 30 minutes is... long enough? It should be long enough, but just to be safe, let's... <laughs> let's take precautions and get that underwater materia. Uh, so, I think we get it, you know that, um, when we were going to the underwater reactor, there's that tunnel with the glass above it? Uh, if we fight one of those creepy ghost ship things and morph it, we should get an item that lets us get the underwater materia. So, I'm just gonna cut to when we're down there, uh, and I'm gonna bring Yuffie along because her ultimate weapon lets her use morph at full strength. Um, so, yeah, I'll just meet you down there. Okay, here we are. So this is where I'm going to fight the ghost ship and use Morph on it. So I'll just cut to wherever that battle is. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right on. And Yuffie's first. Also right on. She doesn't have Morph. That is not a right on. God dang it. Well, Cloud has Morph. Okay. <laughs> Please don't. Oh. Whew. Well, I worked out. Changed into guidebook. Alright. So, Yuffie's gone. <laughs> I still have her? Yeah. So, the guidebook, apparently we have to give that to some guy in Calm. Uh, some traveler guy. 
So I'll just meet you back in Calm then. Man, it's been a while since we've been there. Okay, here we are, back in Calm. Man, it has been a very long time. <laughs> hey, listen to me, I heard the barrier protecting Sephiroth is gone. But with Rufus dead, the Shinra troops don't know what to do. Heidegger and Scarlet don't have what it takes to lead the troops. Oh, and they're dead. <laughs> I really thought something was finally going to happen, but everything's the same. Not a damn thing changes around here. Sorry, man. Tourists, huh? Here are a few things you should know. They'll come in handy. Okay. I already know, man. So, where is this traveler man? Is it you? Ah, youth. You really believe that big meteor filling up the sky is going to fall? Yes. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Even if meteor falls, you ought to be safe as long as you're in Midgar. They say it's a Mako metropolis, so it will survive. That doesn't make sense. North Crater's uh, North, North Crater barrier has been demolished. So now's the time to defeat Sephiroth. Yeah, I know. I know. Hmm. Meteor's going to fall, isn't it? Then we're all history unless Shinra does something about it. Nope. They're not going to do anything. Uh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> Where's the traveler? Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe in the inn? That would make sense. Let's go see. I need to talk to a man about... A guidebook. Nope. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Guess we're just gonna have to check every house. Uh, but it's not gonna be that person. That kid. Hello? If something ever happened to President Rufus, that'd be the end of Shinra Inc. And the rest of the world, too. Uh. Whoops. Wasn't my fault. Oh man, oh man, Meteor's gonna fall on us. And now some huge monster like I've never seen is wandering around out there. Don't worry, I took care of it. Sorta. Kids. God, where is this person? I'm losing my mind. Hello? Meteor's coming, right? Where will I stash my money? Wait, better... I uh, Maybe I'd better take it with me and get out of here. There's nowhere to run, lady. Nowhere to hide. The world's changed a lot in the past few days. A huge meteor is covering up the sky and acting like it owned it. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. Oh, this is the guy. A map that was sunk along with the ship. Guidebook. A rose that blooms once every thousand years in the desert. Desert Rose. What? Oh, are these the different items he wants? Oh, I have an earth harp. Desert rose, huh? Okay. 
I wonder if there's anyone who will bring it to me. I will. Oh, it's guidebook. Want to trade it for this underwater materia? Yes, I do. Give it to me. Okay, then. It's a done deal. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> he just hides it in his dresser over there. Thanks, man. You could have handed it to me instead of throwing it on the floor. <laughs> it's underwater materia. Go on. It's yours. Go on. Grab it. Just come over here and bend right over. Look at him tapping his foot. Yeah. I have an earth harp. I have an earth harp, man. wonder if I have to leave and come back. Let us see. I think I have an earth harp, don't I? Oh no, I have an earth drum. That's right. Let's see. Yada 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 yada. A harp that soothes those who hear it. Yeah, I don't. I guess I don't have it. Never mind. Confuse earth drum with earth, earth harp. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's uh, see what that description is at least. Um, actually, I can equip it right now. Uh, underwater, underwater. There it is. Underwater breathing. Look at that. It doesn't even take AP to level. It's already maxed. What a weird thing. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of materia. <laughs> Maybe I should get Alexander? It doesn't decrease my health. My max health? Any. So that's good. Isn't there something else I got that I didn't look at or something? I feel like I did. Uh, oh, the guidebook. That's alright, though. He kind of described what it was. <laughs> it's just a guidebook. Anyway, uh, that's I, all I want to do in this part. I hope it's not too long, guys. Uh, editing magic for the win. Anywho, uh, next time we're going to be able to fight Emerald Weapon with no time limit. Someone said I should try to fight it without using that crazy double Knights of the Round mime spam. Uh, and I can see where they're coming from, because it's it might be really boring and it's maybe overkill, I don't know. Uh, but at the same time, that thing hits for like 6,000 damage, and if it hits someone twice, they're dead. So, <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid of... Other strategies. I don't know. I, I saw another strategy that was j basically just uh, spam Mega All on everyone. Or not Mega All, uh. Mega Elixirs. Two people are constantly spamming Mega Elixirs to keep people alive while the other person attacks. And that uses the item duplication glitch quite a bit. So, uh, I don't know, man. All these strategies seem to be using some kind of weird overkill type thing so <laughs> I, I don't know we'll we'll try maybe the mega elixir route uh, first and see how that goes and if if it doesn't work out I'll try the nice of the round thing uh, but anyway yeah I don't even know why I'm talking about that right now we'll save it for next time guys see you later <laughs>